1996, um, I, I broke the world hour record, the distance set for an hour, uh, by, in an hour by a cyclist, 56.375 kilometres, I think it was. And I did that thanks to two eccentrics and a sports scientist. The eccentrics, number one, be, being a guy called Mike Burroughs, who designed the Lotus bike, which, uh, which David mentioned. And he looked outside of the sport and said, what's the biggest problem? He looked at the demands of the event and he said, it's air resistance. Air resistance is the thing that's the problem here. Who knows about air resistance? He looked at the aerospace industry. And he said, why does a frame have to be a diamond shape? And he produced this wonderful new shape that became quite iconic, really, with the Olympics in the 90s. The second person came a bit later. His name was Graham O'Brien. And Graham O'Brien had a similar kind of approach, uh, an idea, a way of exploring. And Graham, Graham said, well, air resistance, same thing. He said, but, well, isn't that the same as fluids? Well, when swimmers go into the water, they dive. And in fact, they're so efficient when they're under the water in that position that they, the rules state they can only stay under for 15 metres now. So Graham said, well, if they do that for the swimming, I can do it for bike riding. And we took those two pieces of information and we put them together when we tackled this hour record. And we put them with a deep understanding of, uh, of training physiology and what to do. And all other small elements which controlled the temperature in that building, for example, and kept it as hot as I could possibly stand. And we tested how hot I could stand to get the lowest possible air resistance. And all of that came together to produce this number of greater than 56 kilometers that people said couldn't be done.